Today is the Magic Arena Open, and I'm going to go ahead and give it my best shot here. Tried once earlier, went 3-3. Three and three. The servers were not kind to me. But we're going to see if I can't run it back here. All right, let's start off here by taking a look at our rares. Uh, Retriever Phoenix is really good. Electrolyze. Lore Hold Command and Quadrix Command. Wow. Okay, so some power here. So instantly drawn to... Lore hold command. Wow. I'm actually just going to take... All of these are honestly fine. This is like kind of medium, but these are all really strong cards. I've got like two immediate polarizing directions. Interesting. All right, so let's see. What do we have here? Let's go ahead. I want to take a look at my early drops here. Let's see. Got some eager first year, some guiding voices, pop quiz. I see a flunk, umbral juke, leech fanatic, lash, historian, heated debate. A lot of green black here, actually. All right, this is going to be a very awkward deck. I can already tell um we don't have a super clear direction so symbology is very good what learn do we have oh, i got a field trip not actually that much how many lessons do we have oh we got a couple i like having an environmental sciences lore hold command this might be a splash potentially this is a rough rough pull So let's see, what am I liking here? Serpentine Curve. There's a lot of black removal. We've got like Flunk, Lash, Umbral, Mage Hunter. Hunt for Specimens, honestly pretty good. Leech Fanatic. My blue is like just a Pop Quiz, really. Pop Quiz, Burry, Snow Day. Got a snakeskin veil. I've also got heated debate, pigment storm. I don't really like pigment storm the most. Card can definitely be fine. I don't think Quandrix commands where I'm going here. <clears throat> uh, there is some consideration towards like Jund, maybe. There's like a mortality spear. Problem is, where is my early game right now? So looking at black, let's see, we've got the cauldron, we've got witch. Phoenix would go in this deck. Flame scroll is just a two drop. Don't think I would play that. Electrolyze is good, but I don't think I have enough blue to really support what I want to do there. Uh, go blank is actually fine. We would do illustrious. If I splash white, I get rise of X. Well, I can play rise anyway. Thrilling discovery. We have quadrix command, which I really want to play, but I don't necessarily. We're gonna put a campus guide in most likely. Um. This is tough. We could also just splash some green. How much life gain do we have? We actually have a decent amount of life gain here. I could see going like... Drought's a pretty good trick. Amplomancer. Then I would go like what Wither Bloom Apprentice Spear. Lorehold Command is so insane that I kinda wanna make it work anyway. It's probably too ambitious though. 
Deadly Brew can be okay. Maybe I try to cut a little bit and just do something more along these lines. So, this is really, really tough. Agonizing Remorse is fine. I don't think it's amazing. Our white is just really lacking. So I don't really think there's like a red-white deck. A lot of my two drops are in black. So I feel like I'm pressed into like a red-black type shell here. For green... Blood Researcher is a reasonably good card. I could try something like this. And I'm splashing like a single planes, I suppose, for lore hold. I just have no real fixing. Do I have any campuses? Okay, we're getting no help there. So lore hold, as much as I want to play lore hold command, I think it might be too hard. I could play white instead of green here and I could play like mentor lore hold command that might be better honestly so instead of this I could go ahead and go like symbology I would probably play owl Definitely lore hold command at that point. Mentor's okay. Guiding voice is pretty good. How much learn do I have? I have one, two. Two right now. I don't think this card's frankly very good, so I don't really want to splash for that. Let's see. There's Thrill to just kind of help me get through the early game, draw cards. I could run a Pigment Storm for another piece of removal. I could run like two Pigment Storms. Gives me like some out of reach as the uh, game nears the end. Black. I don't love Spectre, but I think Spectre could be okay. This gives me like some aggressive flyers. Do I play another Pigment Storm? I don't think that's really where I want to be. Go to my creatures. Only got so many options here, though, for early game cards. So probably not going to get an early game creature I really like here. In which case, I would probably rather just... I could run Agonizing Remorse, but I really don't want that much discard. I already have one piece of discard in Go Blank. I could play like a Spiteful Squad. I have no real mana fixing, so I'm splashing for Lorehold Command. Honestly, this isn't awful, I don't think. Let's go ahead and see what the land suggestion is. This looks about right. We've got a campus guide to get our third color most of the time. We've got a good amount of removal. Just try to tempo them out. Uh, the main issue I see is honestly hitting double red a lot of the time. As double red seems like it might be a bit of a challenge here. So we have a two drop. We have a removal spell. We have learn to go get a couple of cards. I think this is honestly fine. We're going to keep. I've got a proactive two drop. I've got a reactive removal spell. And I've got hunt. Not super excited to see that land. Interesting. Main decking environmental. If 
fetches for his third color. So we no longer have to go get our own environmental here. Um, I don't really want to flunk that. It does get me in for damage here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and hunt for specimens. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go get the flyer here. I feel like snapping off the flunk on the Vortex Runner is a little aggressive. And here I at least develop my board a little bit more. My plan is to go flyer into flyer the next two turns. Is he going to fight my fanatic? Alright, so we know he is three color here, so he's Witherbloom slash Quandrix. Good old Sultai. Alright, let's draw two off that. He's going to go ahead and hold back again. So this is pretty controlling by the looks of it. I'm holding off on Campus Guide. I don't know if I'm going to need one more land. If I get anything, it's going to be a mountain to make sure we can hit our double red for Pigment Storm. Okay. Here, let's go ahead and send four two in the air. Well, we got our mountain. And let's go ahead and get the owl out. He could have reject here, but does not. Always nice to see. All right, so if you play something scary, we've got Rise. At some point, we will want to get rid of Vortex Runner because it will become unblockable, but it's not right now. There's the Bio Man. This is really interesting. He's actually running these Lessons main board. All right, got a build for Mastery. Getting... Sends in the Bio Man. I think I'm fine taking two. I think I'd rather preserve my board. Heated Debate's pretty nice. I kind of want to rise, but I also don't here. Heated Debate. Uh, we're at the stage of the game where Flunk... This is probably the spot to Flunk. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to offer the trade for the Fractal. He could have more Biomathematicians or he could just, yeah, he's not going to trade there. Gets the extra point of damage through. I'm going to go ahead and play Campus Guide. Decline. Don't think I want any more lands here. We've got Rise for like a Flyer or something big. I decided to use Flunk there because I feel like Heated Debate is going to be a little bit better. That's getting killed. Um, do I kill it with Rise, or do I kill it with Heated? I think it's, it's kind of trickster my Flyer, probably. No, goes for the Leech. So, I'm actually going to take this damage, because now I can go ahead and Rise this. Let's Exile Baleful. And now, I think I just want to go grab a... Four, four. Go ahead. I'm going to offer the trade. There we go. Campus guide getting in. Um, I don't think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't really have an incentive to play this land, so I'm not going to. I'd rather make him think about more cards. Uh, here, I think I can... I could offer the trade for Bioman. Actually, I don't think I'm going to, though. I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a 4-4. Uh, I'm going to get, once again, just hold the land. Just give him something to think about. I can attack, attack, he trades, trades. That might honestly be fine just to clean up the board a little bit. 
but I think I want to wait until I can Mage Hunter's Onslaught. My guy has a million mana over there. There we go. Putrefy. Stupefy. Alrighty. So now this is getting to like the interesting uh, portion of the game where I get to decide how aggressive I want to be. So I can go ahead, I can Mage Hunters on this, attack with everything. I get through like one, three points of damage. That's not, there's no world that's correct. Now we go ahead and we just play on another land. We're just going to pass. We can kill his next two big threats. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's possible killing the 2-2 two -two might have been correct. Purely because I could have then maybe traded for the Needlethorn. But I've got kill spells for the next two threats he plays, which I feel pretty good about. That's a great draw. So let me go ahead and develop the Cauldron. Holding the lands, also paying off here. I'm probably just going to go ahead and draw a card now. Uh, actually, I'm going to wait. There's no real need. And I think I am going to hold this in hand. I can convert this into a pest. He's got it. So now we have a value engine online. He's got a vortex runner. Go ahead and clean that out. Alrighty, so now I think I want to just go ahead. Do I even want to play a land? I think I play one land to keep up heated debate. And I think I just kill that. I think at this point I just want to keep uh playing kind of cautiously. I do have enough cards in my graveyard to go ahead. I'm probably going to go ahead and pitch this planes next. I don't need any more, more white mana. I've got all the mana I need, I think, for the rest of the game. One, two, three, four. So funny enough, if I gain life, I can wait till he scries on one of his turns and then uh, go ahead and mill whatever. Environmental, you got it. I'm not going to sweat that. I really don't want to snap this off unless it's going to accomplish something pretty big. Go ahead and pitch a planes. That's actually pretty good. So, this is pretty innocuous, but it's going to go ahead. It's going to start pinging him every time he wants to scry. And now I think I want to go ahead and maybe offer up some uh, trades here. He can block with the Fractal if he wants. It's fine. I'm just gonna let this go. So now we're gonna go to end step. We're gonna wait for him to scry. If he leaves it on top, I'm gonna mill him. Let's go ahead and activate full control. Uh, I think I'm actually still gonna take the mill here. Well. That felt like uh, some pretty good mills. There's the ley line, so he gets his chonker now. Does he have something else? All right, so we go ahead, kill that in response. You got it. 
And here I'm going to go ahead and start trying to close out. We go ahead and pump. Pump. Attack for eight. Pass to the opponent. I've got Pigment Storm to kill pretty much anything. If he scries, he's dead. If he does anything, he's dead. Yep. You got it. He is dead on board. Dead like eight different ways. Good game. Nice. That was a good first match. Controlled the board. Played tight. Very happy with my play that game. Alright, here we go. I don't know. I feel like we're making the best out of the deck here. Let's see. Cauldron, such a good card. Really do love that card. Especially with how grindy this format can be. Um, I don't like this hand. I like this hand more. Hello. I'm actually going to put back the third land here. I'm going to go ahead and use Symbology to go ahead and get my third land. This is like kind of greedy here, but I think I just want to make sure that I am not light on action. Make sure we're hitting our land drops. Especially with how grindy this format is, I feel like just going down on spells a lot of time is just very, very brutal. Do I want to make him sack that? Um, not particularly. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play this out. Kind of regretting the uh, land choice here. Maybe should have thrown back. I was really greedy here, but... If he swings... Yeah, I'm taking two. I'm not going to uh, double block there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get the Phoenix out. And here... I don't think it's pests. I've got plenty of action. I actually need cheap cards. It could be Prophecy here. I think it's Prophecy. Send here. So next turn I tap. Alright. We are going Phoenix for Phoenix here. Uh, land for Pigment Storm is really good. Just clean up the Zoomancy over there. Okay, he's got it. My guy is ra Oh, we're racing, racing. Uh, interesting. So he hits me for 6, 7, 8, 9. I go to 11. I hit him back. Can I win this race? Um, I need to draw a land. If I don't draw a land, this is so bad if I don't block here. My coward. Yeah, my coward. I had to think about that. Always punished. Um, here, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pigment storm the 2 3. And I think I'm going to hold back. I think our hand is alright. I have traded. Okay, there's a pledge mage. Not happy about that. So he plays the land out. Okay, I need to flunk that. I'm going to go ahead and take the trade here. So now I go ahead. I flunk. I mean, I get got by... Uh... You know what? Let me go blank first. This is going to leave him with a Quadrix Pledge Mage in his graveyard, but this plays around Shock. Or like one mana red, because it's just too much of a blowout if this doesn't go well. 
Also, this is huge because this actually gets rid of uh, the Phoenix. That felt pretty reasonable. Next turn, we get Introduction. Opponent still up multiple cards. So, uh... Whew. Draws immediately. That is rough. I need another kill spell here. That's going to get out of reach of most of my burn spells, at least. Uh, Thrill's interesting here. I think I'm just going to Introduction, though. I'm going to save that for the next time I draw. Something dead. I want neither of those. Get those away from me. Okay. I need him to take, like, a really slow turn. Uh, Land Pass sounds pretty great to me. Ooh, two four fours. I am so dead. Yeah, that's gonna do it. I have lore hold here, so I could helix block. I just don't have enough mana. I just got out tempoed that game. The go blank was probably a mistake. I probably just needed to hit my lands on curve. But even if I hit my lands on curve there, I'm not sure I get there. Oh well. Run it back. Alrighty. All three of our colors, two drop. I mean, this is like one of the best hands I could probably draw up, honestly. Opponents on the play, though. Mountain. Okay, nothing from them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lead Leech. I'd rather him counter that than, like, Flame Scroll. Yeah, there we go. Reject. I don't think there's a world I ever don't do anything there. It's just too bad. Puts a forest on top. Go ahead and develop Flame Scroll. Starting to flood a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and play the second mountain. Next turn, we hunt for specimens and probably go get the 4-4. Four -four. First day of class into... There's a big old fractal. Um, here I think I am gonna trade. Yeah, my hand is just very light on action right now and I'd like not to get you beat down. Let's go ahead and grab this. All right, cause I've got like a single removal spell. And a bunch of air. Also, the deck has a lot of late game in it, so I would rather just kind of stall out a little bit than... Uh... He's probably just going to make a 3-2 here. Yeah, it's fine. Pretty good with that. Um... I don't know. I'm not going to trade one for two. In the event that he has a kill spell for this. There we go. There's the kill spell for it. And that's why we didn't attack with this. Alright. Good news is we are steadily hitting our cards that do stuff. Let's go ahead. We're actually going to get Prophecy. This way we can just scry for more action. 
Opponent's missing lands. Yeah, I'm gonna take this damage. So we know he's got at least three spells in hand. Does he make a 3-3? Three, three? That is a 5-5. Five five. Oof. Not in love with that. Let me go ahead and... I'll take Pigment Storm. That gives me a way to kill this cleanly. I also think I'm fine to just go ahead, block this with the Pest, and then Heated Debate it. That ignores Ward. Well, that was unfortunate for the opponent, but really good for me. Um, I don't really want to play this land out. How much is it to drain? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Playing this land out doesn't really make that any better or worse. So I think I just swing. I feel like I'm just making a 2-2 two -two here in most cases. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make a 2-2. Two -two. That was uh, incredibly unfortunate for my opponent, though. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just make a 2-1 flyer. And we're just going straight through this. I'm going to go ahead and play a land out. Go ahead, keep the pressure on. That's a tap land, so that doesn't really advance his situation too much. Yeah, he's going to make a 3-3. Three, three. His is not looking good. Yeah, now he's even attacking. I think I'm going to go ahead and just snap the block off. Flunk's pretty good. That's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and send. I'm not going to flunk now. There's no reason. I could just drain him out, drain him out. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Drain my opponent. One, two, three, four. Don't think I want to play that. Yeah, I just attack. Like. I was trying to think if there's any, like, instant speed, but there's nothing you can do there. All right, nice. All right, let's keep it rolling. Well, I've got a two drop. I got a, I'm keeping it. Honestly, a hand where I get to uh, just play out two drop. Nah, do I get a, I don't think I get a land with this. Hello. A lot of people with the hellos today. Um, no. I'm not going to go land. Well. No, I've got three turns to draw a land. At absolute worst, I use Phoenix to go get one. Well, that's interesting. Um. Ooh. I really just want to curve out here. 
I don't think I'm going to do this yet. A little opponent attack. Part of me wants to pitch this land so badly and just go for it, but at the same time, I really would like not to lose the game because I uh, was a Greedmeister. Here, give me sciences. I might even have him greedy. I can pitch this to this. Um, I just want to start getting in for damage. Obviously, this next turn would be absolutely nuts. I can just make kill his guy, make a 3-2. Lightning Helix, even at 5 mana. Very, very good card. Let's see. What's he going for here? Plays a third color out. A lot of people on this uh, color pairing. Also, if he kills Phoenix, I can go Symbology into Environmental Sciences to hit my fifth land. He's got it. Um... Honestly, I'm just going to kill that. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba I think I'd rather make a 3-2 than try to... That's obviously not super exciting. I also could have played the Owl, but I don't want him cheating on mana with this. Like, he's just going to develop his mana. Start getting out ahead of me, which I really... Yeah, like... That is so much worse for him at this point. Do I Lash? I don't actually think I do. I think I just Send Send. Um, do I want to trade for one of these Pledge Mages? I think it's fine. Cleans up the board. Because now I get to go Symbolic... Actually, no. I want to go... Play my Shield Mage. Next turn, I play Symbology. I don't necessarily need to hit this next... Oh, I need one more land drop for uh, Rise of Exodus. But that's really my only 6 drop. I also could have killed the squirrel with Lash, but I don't think it's super necessary. I'm going to get Phoenix back next turn. The Campus Guide. Also, part of the reason I was fine trading off the 3-2 for the Pledge Mage is just because I don't want him to suddenly turn the corner, maybe remove one of my guys, slam back for 6 and start racing me. I want to keep his board relatively bare, and then just kind of chip away at him here. Next turn, he's taking five, provided nothing changes. Yeah, okay. I mean, does he have a two-drop to follow? Plarg? That's a good one. So now we get to really get in here. So let's go ahead, play Symbology... We're going to get the Phoenix back. We are now going to go ahead and Lash Plarg. He wasn't going to block anyway, I don't think. We're going to go ahead and pitch this Swamp. And then we're just going to crack in. Okay. Uh, do we want to play this? Yes. It doesn't really change too much. Now we've got Mage Hunters to just clear the way next turn. Even if he blocks, we slam in for lethal anyway. Tap out. Just play like another guy. I'd be totally down for like one more dude. Then OP doesn't want to play a guy. Do you have a counterspell? 
the other big thing is I want to get his life total down here in part, just so that way I can make the owl untargetable. He can eat one of these. That's fine. I'm willing to trade one of these for one damage at this point. You got it. Now you go to one. All right, he has to play a flyer. Yep, good game. Yeah, I just wanted to develop onto the board that game. Like, that's why I made the decision to use the Lord Hold command there. Uh, I felt like killing that, especially when I knew he had spells in hand where he was going to be able to cheat on mana, he was going to be able to multi-spell was a lot riskier than just kind of picking it off and not worrying about it. So, I felt pretty good about that decision. Obviously, it paid off in hindsight's twenty twenty, but it felt like the correct decision that turn in developing the 3-2. Uh, this hand's bad. Well, I go first, and I do this, I do this, and then I, like, maybe draw a land, and then I, I don't like it. I like this hand way better all right let's go let's get our leech fanatic out there like my deck has a lot of value but i don't need to play it in such a way where i am like restricting myself to oh i have to have to be getting value i'm just gonna make a 2-1 flyer here unless he plays like the scariest possible creature interesting I can make him sack that. I'm just making it to one flyer. I'm just going for it. Uh, here? We're getting another flyer. We've got the lifelinker here, too. I thought about making him sack the 3-3. Three, three, but thinking about it, I feel like this 2-1 flyer is going to accomplish more. Yeah, he plays like a couple just random guys onto the board. I am a-okay with that. Do I play Symbology out? I think I'm even going to offer the trade here. I'm actually not going to play Symbology out here. This is maybe a mistake. But I feel like I can just get there with Flyers in like two-ish turns. And I would rather do that than start messing around with like... Divine Gambit! He's nuts. That's actually, that's actually really funny. Um, I'm missing the second red, so we're going to take Introduction here. That has to be, like, really tilting, honestly. I'm going to hold the swamp. I don't care that much about it. Like, I don't think developing the swamp does anything for me. I'd rather hold it. He doesn't have perfect info. Goes like, oh, what if he has insert card? Pillar drop. That needs to die. So my main goal now is actually just to find an answer to pillar drop. So let's go ahead and do this. I love Pigment Storm, but I hate that I don't have red. I'm going to take the Pigment Storm, though. So I attack with everything, and he's not dead, so we're not going to do that. Okay. Like, I could have just gotten two of my guys eaten and put him to... Maybe I should have just put him to two. That actually might have been correct. I'm now potentially regretting my decision. Also, I did keep this on top when I don't have my other red, which is kind of risky. Well... 
Uh, something, something better than lucky than good. All right. There's the flyer. He needs a second body. That's a second body. Play a guy. Not going to offer the trade with the flyer because the removal spell just kills him there. Okay, he's got a pilgrim. Plays it out. He has enough to live. Wow, okay. Alright, let's go. Whew. There were some... There were some moments in that game where I was definitely knocking on the top of the deck and going, uh... Oh, magic gods, please smile upon me. Alright. Let's do it. Removal spell. This hand's not insane, but it's fine. I don't like I only have one threat, but I have, like, a removal spell for an early creature. That's another two drop. I actually am a big fan of that. Um, I'll lead on leech. No, no, I got lashed. Misses a land. Uh oh. All right. Send in the witch. The otter troll. Not gonna make him discard yet. I wanna wait for a turn where I kinda have nothing going on. My guy is sending. He's got it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go for the aggressive play here. Let's go ahead and make him discard. And I know it's nothing but gas over there. You can't tell me it's anything but gas. You didn't make your lands, okay? Kill the troll. Send the goons. All right, the goons are coming. That's a guy. Ah, uh, you know what? We're just sending here. I just want to put him dead. Um, I'm actually just going to hold. I don't need to play either of these. He's got a scurried. Okay. Get the juice. Uh, we're actually going to take this. Send in. Alrighty. Let's go. Cl close the door. Pack it up. Not letting my man slow me down. I smelled blood. I was like, nah, we got to... We gotta take him out. I can't be... Can't be letting him get me here. Alright. Uh, Alright. Feel good about it. I've got a one-drop removal spell. I've got all my colors. And I've got my Leech Fanatic. Ooh, that's, uh, this is a little rough, but. Okay, that's a good draw. Let's go ahead and attack. Hopefully fade a counterspell. Nice. 
Okay, so now we've got ways to clear the way. Double pigment. I mean, I guess we just try to get them low here, right? Uh, hopefully he plays something I can just lash. The bio man. Um... Interesting. So I could attack with Sedgemore and then Lash, but I can't hunt for specimens then. Ah, oh, this is tough. I think I really want to Lash here. I think I Lash. I'm not going to try to be cute and, like, bait a double block. I'm just going to lash pre-combat. Get in. If he wants to block, he can. I feel like this damage is just valuable. Like, it does delay me getting my environmental sciences. But with double pigment storm in hand, I feel like getting in five damage is so valuable. Okay, and, like, here we go. We're rewarded. Because now we just kill this cultivator and we slam again. Like, we just make sure there are no breaks on this train. Out of my way. Send it. And now this is like another five damage. And even though we're missing on lands and he's developing, this is putting so much pressure on him. And Sedgemore Witch has Menace, so he still has to find a second creature if he trades off this 1-1 one -one here. Next turn, I can... Yeah, he has to take this so he can play another creature. Is, I think, his best play. Alright, he goes to 7. Alright, now we probably take a turn off the hunt for specimens. Parmy wants to make the flyer with Umbral Juke. Um, I think it'll come down if I draw a land. I really just do need second red here. That's a really good card. He's got it. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and... I'm actually going to swing with everything. Okay, my guy's going real, real low here. So, I think I do play this. I think I grab studies. I pass. He can't target Sedgemore Witch anymore. I actually didn't consider him blocking that way, honestly. I was pretty convinced that he was going to double block Witch. That was going to make him sack Quandrix. Okay, but now he's like also backed himself into a really bad spot here. And now he's dead. Kill that. And I send the goons. Good game. Triggers on the stack. Uh, I would probably kill the bird. There we go. Stuck on three lands. Doesn't matter. Tempo, tempo, baby. Alright, let's send it. Oh, man. All right, let's see. What are we looking at here? I see three lands and my leech fanatic. <laughs> let's go. Get him, leech. Um, next turn, I'm going to hunt for specimens.
Gotta cultivate. Okay, opponent's uh, ramping this time. This is actually kind of scary. This is uh, potentially a play draw situation. It's actually kind of scary because, like, if I'm on the play, I've already hit him for two, and now he's ramping, and I get him for four. Whereas, this is going to be a little bit rougher because he's actually going first. I don't have a strong three drop here. Okay, he is getting a planes. Interesting. My opponent is on many colors. Uh, I am going to go ahead and just specimens. And I think I do grab sciences here. I want to make sure I get to my fifth and sixth land drop, especially get given like pigment storm Exodus. Let's see, why is he splashing white? Well, I guess I don't really know what his splash is. I'm guessing it's not green. Well, he's playing Cultivate, so he went green. Forest, Forest Island. There's a pop quiz. All right, OP. What's the busted thing that you got in your sealed pool? Environmental. Is he going to play that? All right. This is like a really, really slow start for my opponent, but not really in a great spot to punish it. All right, send them in. Also, with this, I want to grab my second black uh, for Mage Hunter. We got Pigment Storm to remove a blocker, potentially. There's a Pugilist. I mean, I'm going to try. What? He's got Test of Talents? Oh my god, he gets my other Pigment Storm. There's no way Test of Talents is main deckable in this. Alright, maybe it is. Maybe I'm the maybe I am Boo Boo the Fool. Is he good? Oh, he's taking a look at my... Oh, he's playing this to just learn his opponent's deck. That's actually really smart. I'll offer the trade. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I'm hoping to just rip land now. Obviously, that was bad for me, but it's not the end of the world. I do want to kill this before it becomes a 8-8, uh, eight -eight, though. Because that would be pretty bad for me. The other thing I'm a little concerned about is I don't have a lot of great... Another test of... Te oh, my God. I gotta fight through this. Not excited about that. Interesting. Alright, test of talents does not work on this, so... I'm just going to go ahead and play this. So, uh, this is kind of annoying because I now have to play around. This Rise of Exodus is never going to do anything except for essentially make him hold up two mana for the rest of the game. Not the biggest fan of that, frankly. I think I'm just going to thrill and pitch environmental. He gets pests. This is going to be a hard game, I can already tell. Um. Yeah, he's got an 8-8 now. He's got a fight there. Wait, why wouldn't he kill Spiteful Squad? But Whatever. I don't think that particularly matters. He leaves up. Test. It's fine. That has Trample, so I can't really do anything about it. Just going to take a million. Let me go ahead and Thrill. Start drawing cards.
That's interesting. Um... Oh, wow, there's a world in which I, like, try to silence and then do something, but that's, like, kind of silly, I think. Okay. I'm just gonna sit here. Man, this uh, test of talents is really rough here. Does he cash this in for a uh, card? Okay. Why did he do that? He's got a bookworm, that's why. Um, how do I deal with this? He just keeps leaving up Testa talents. This is very annoying. He could let this go, honestly. Yeah, he's going to. Alright, I just have to kill him. Alright, my plan is just to hurry up and kill this guy. Okay. He's got it. He puts out the pests. Is there a way for me to gain life and mill him? That's really annoying. Don't know what I can do about this. I mean, I have to try on this. I don't know what to do here. I think my opponent is, uh... Man, that test of talents regrowth test was just so brutal this game. Um... I can chump the 10-10. That's really all I can do. Definitely am not going to take uh, 10 here. That's not happening. He's got 18 cards. Milligan Mount's not, a, not a, an option. Wow, this guy's deck is really good. Holy goodness. Don't think I've got anything else to stop him. I can flunk and kill the worm. I have to, I can pump once, I can pump twice, I can pump three times and trade with the 10 10. I can't even do that. So I have to do this, block, 
Big pomp. 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 I don't. I don't know what my outs are. I don't think there is any outs at this point. I'm too far behind. He's like looping bookworms. I'll see what my next card is. Yeah, it's not gonna do it. Good game. Damn. The guy's. Uh, that guy went off. Man, test of talents, regrowth test. I uh, frankly was not ready for that. I was a little, a uh, little much. All right, red storm. Okay. Nope. Yep. And I throw back. Probably Historian. Historian is actually potentially better in a lot of cases. Like, part of me wanted to keep Leech Fanatic and throw back a land, but. Because I have Hunt, but I can result in, like, some super slow hands. Now I regret it. Now I wish I had thrown back a land, but. Hindsight's 2020. You know what? You want to trade? I'm down. Opponent says no. Uh, I'm just going to grab, I think, Inkling here. I'm down just to be a little bit proactive. He's got a Kelpie guide. So what I don't understand is, are you going to block this turn? See, that I don't get. If you're not going to block my 2-1, you should definitely attack. You're just missing damage. Kind of wanted to try to kill Kelpie Guide there, but... Eh. Okay. Well, now what? Uh, I think I get a black with this. Now he attacks. Now he doesn't attack. Okay, Lash is interesting. Um, how much do I want to get through his guy? I think I need to lash Kelpie Guide. I don't think I want to leave that alive, frankly. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. So, I want to lash Kelpie Guide just because it can accelerate him on mana. And that's, uh, always rough. Pillar Drop is, uh, holding down the fort extremely well right now. I want to force my way through, but I don't think I really have a good way to. All right, he's got nothing. I mean... Let's see. Well, my hand's been played. Phase three life. I sadly don't have mana. Up. Yikes. That's a pigment storm. All right, I needed that to go through. Uh, he could get me with Burfrog Befuddler here. Fine. Is he going to pump it? There's no way you save your Needle Thor Drake after letting your 1-5 go if you have a pump spell. Lightning Bolt. That's pretty good. Furry. Well, my pressure's gone. Also, this is why I kept Le Leech Fanatic over... Uh... Well, Go Blank does basically nothing. Uh, this is why I kept... Uh, illustrious Historian over Leech Fanatic because I wanted a little bit more resiliency with my hand. Interesting. Do I offer the trade here? I think I do. Okay. So both of us are just going to sit here and top deck at each other. 
He has scries though, which means that I kinda need to kill him because I'm just going to lose otherwise. Not gonna put a land on top, there's no reason to. Big scry. Bottoms, takes his nat draw. Okay. Honestly? Just give me your hand. Part of me wonders if I should be heating debating the Pledge Mage to get in for like an extra point of damage, but... It was also maybe incorrect to uh, snap that off now. Okay. Me and my opponent, both staring at each other. He kept it on top, that's a bad sign. Maybe I should have held the discard. Will. Seems bad for me. That also seems bad for me. Got to be a spell somewhere. Got a needle thorn, Drake. Gotta go ahead and kill this now. I'm just gonna swing both at will. I'm gonna do this now. This is why I didn't want to fight. All right, there's a leech fanatic. We've got rise for like a big chonker. Those are big chonkers. But that's uh, oof. I mean, I'm clicking on one of them here. What do I want? Uh. I think it's just a 4-4. Four, four. I have no attacks. Next turn, I can Pigment Storm. Is this a board wipe? What the hell is this? I mean, I'm not blocking. Another one? Jeez. Okay. Alright, I am now on the defensive here. Uh, I have to go on defense. Uh, I trade a 4-4 four four here. Actually, wait a second. If I kill the 4-4, four four, I can get in for... Alright, this is really risky. So I gain two here. I'm going to go to nine. Okay, I've decided to try to win. So do I attack with everything, right? So if I send with everything, I get in for five. All right. If I draw Pigment Storm, I can win. That's what we're playing for. I'm playing for other Pigment Storm. I'm playing for Lore Hold Command. I'm playing for any of my cards that do uh, a damage. This also forces him to stay home. You got it. Do you hit me to one? No, he doesn't believe in hitting me to one. Celebrant. Does that do anything? The answer is no. So he pumps the response. I have no attacks. I pass. Oh, God. Okay, so we have Pigment Storm Trample. Wait, am I dead? Okay. 
Okay, he's attacking for five. I put myself in the best position to win. I really can't do any better than this. I have to draw like a uh, removal spell off the top and I get it. Okay. Yep. It's all on this draw. Sedgemore Witch. Does that do it? The answer is no. It doesn't. So I have to block next turn? Uh, if I block next turn, what happens? Five. Okay. I have to just pass and see if he makes a mistake. Okay. I literally just need to survive. Okay. I think he's got me here. Uh, so there's four. So I to even live, I'd have to block like this. Is that correct? That is correct. Oh, I should have blocked this here and pumped. I actually don't want to kill this because it gives me an out if I draw Pigment Storm. All right. It's Lorehold Commander Pigment Storm. Oh my god! Oh my god. That's why you play to your outs. That is why you play to your outs. Who am I? I am Shay fucking Diesel. That's who I am. Oh my god, I am so, so excited right now. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. All right, I gotta take one last look at this deck. I saw Lorehold Command exactly one time. Let's see, Guiding Voice. So, what were our lessons here? Inklick Summoning. I mean, we got pretty much all of these. We held it together. Last Your Malice, Symbology, Flunk, Hunt for Specimens. Wow. This was a really strong list. I mean, it wasn't like the most flashy list, but we absolutely got there. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, when I upload this, this was an absolutely phenomenal run. I am so excited right now. I hope you have an absolutely awesome day. I've been Jay Diesel. I'll be uploading day two as well. Uh, have a phenomenal day, and I will speak to you soon.